What? Yes, I know it's Nintendo. I'm wearing an Atari hat. I want an infinite amount of snapbacks I can just pull out of the air. It's a classic console. It's close enough, right? Hey gamers and welcome to another unboxing with me, Shinobi Nando. And today I'm really excited to do the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Mini, or SNES Mini if you want to shorten it. This is essentially a mini emulator of the classic Super Nintendo with two controllers and over 21 games, really cool classic games, um, which I'll show on the box art on the back when we get a closer look in a second. I've also been very generously donated from my local Nintendo Street Pass group an original Super Nintendo to compare it with. Alright guys, as I usually say, let's get straight into this. But here you are with the box art for the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Very oddly, it puts uh, <laughs> 20 plus 1 games, uh, not 21 games, but there's a reason for that and we'll check it out in a, in a minute. Um, as I'm told, these are the European colours for the Super Nintendo in the US and Canada, where I'm originally from. It was all purple, so that's the main difference from getting it here in Europe. And here's the back with the 20 plus 1 games. Uh, the reason for the wording like that is because these are the 20 classic ones and that is the unreleased copy of Star Fox 2, which is a bonus game if you will. Alright guys, enough admiring the box art, let's open it up and look it, at it first hand. Nintendo always have such unique packaging methods with their cardboard. <laughs> so straight off the bat, you have the guide. It's the first classic controller. Second classic controller, which is a big deal for a lot of people. The um, NES Mini or the Nintendo Mini only came with one controller, and the wire was really, really short. Uh, right, let's get this out. Let's see anything there? So yeah, micro USB and HDMI now. Instead of using a SCART. Where other old methods of connecting it. And that is it. I mean, holy crap, it's <laughs> it's about the size of the controller. Really, really small. Just clear these out of the way so you have a look. Um, obviously, I'll get some closer B-roll footage, but let's just have a quick look. That's the power button. The reset button. Cartridge bit doesn't work. Obviously, because all the games are pre-installed. That's the bottom of it there. And then micro USB for power, and also your HDMI port, so obviously you can connect it to your TV. Here's a side by side comparison of the old or original SNES and then the SNES Mini Classic. So you can see a lot of the buttons are faithfully recreated. The eject button obviously functions there, and this is like so much smaller. <laughs> I could probably fit it into the card. I wouldn't recommend it, but you probably could. I wonder if it says. No, uh, so it doesn't say PAL version like it does there. But other than that, it is a really faithful recreation of the, yeah, of the original Super Nintendo. Oh wow, here you go, blast from the past. Check out those old connections. I know a major concern for a lot of people because of the NES Classic was the length of the wire. So I'm just going to this and show you guys how long the cable is. Yeah. I mean it's still quite short, but it's not as short as the NES Mini. That's about, about a meter? There and about. It's about three feet for our American friends. Yeah. 
There you go. There is the SNES Mini Classic versus the original Super Nintendo. Let's do a quick breakdown of what you get in the box. So you get an HDMI cable, a power supply US micro USB. You also get two Super Nintendo controllers, faithfully recreated, as you can see there. I have some of the B-roll. Um, get the Mini Classic <laughs> SNES, of course, and also the 20 plus one games, which is 28 classic games, including Super Mario World, Super Mario RPG, Super Metroid, uh, Final Fantasy 3, and of course, Star Fox 2, which was never officially released. One thing I want to quickly add, just so nobody panics when they look at the front of this. So actually a little, and then you plug in your controllers there. So don't worry guys, there is a connection for you. You don't have to buy a separate adapter. Remember guys, if you are picking up yours, uh, it does state a warning there that it doesn't come with an AC adapter. It does come with the micro USB cable, but you need your own AC adapter. You could probably get away with using a phone charger or something of an of a equivalent. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed the unboxing and found it informative. Let me know in the comments below, are you going to be picking up a SNES Mini? If you have any other questions or want to reminisce with me with some of your favorite games, please let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing more unboxings in the future and I also live stream every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. The best way to know when I go live is to hit the notification bell by the subscribe button so you know when I'm uploading. And also once again a big massive thank you to Nintendo Preston for lending me their SNES. If you're local or if you just want to check them out there'll be links in the description to their Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'm going to set this up and play some Super Mario RPG if you don't mind.